begin tonight with MTS releasing its independent investigation related to former county supervisor Nathan Fletcher. Fox 5's Sarah Barker is joining us around the table now. Uh, and is going to break down these findings. Yeah, it's really hard to believe that we've been kind of following this story for nearly a year now. So let's take you back to February of last year. That's when Fletcher announced his bid for the state Senate. And since then, we have witnessed what a lot of people are calling a rise and quick fall of the former supervisor. So there's two suits against Fletcher, one for sexual harassment and one for wrongful termination. Well, the report released today only focuses on the wrongful termination allegations and and according to experts, it seems to undermine a lot of those claims. It's really it's an outrage that these things just keep occurring. An independent investigation released Thursday appears to undermine claims from Nathan Fletcher's accuser that she was allegedly wrongfully terminated by the San Diego Metropolitan Transit System, where Fletcher served as board chair amid claims of sexual assault. MTS hired an outside company to look into her termination. This 90 page report shows employees didn't know of the alleged interactions between Nathan Fletcher and his accuser, Gracia Figueroa, prior to her termination. It was a authoritative report by people that really knew what they were doing and they basically disabused uh, should have disabused her and her legal team that the county had no involvement in any allegation that they fired her in response to the other allegations, which came later. It claims Figaro's firing happened after multiple warnings over her three years as a public relations specialist at MTS. The probe found her termination was coincidental, refuting claims she was abruptly fired the same day Fletcher had announced his bid for state Senate. If what this report reveals that they got he had no involvement and it was all coincidental, which also seems to me to have been well described that it was coincidental, then it would probably be in the best interest of, uh, you know, the plaintiff in that case, the woman suing Mr. Fletcher in the county, to, to drop that portion of the lawsuit and proceed on the one that at least sounds to me like it has some traction. This civil wrongful termination lawsuit is one of two Figueroa has filed, the other dealing with alleged sexual misconduct. And in attorney Jan Ronis's opinion, the sexual harassment suit could be impacted by these new findings. It looks like there was a well-documented relationship between a you know, a person in a position of power, Mr. Fletcher, and a subordinate in the office who was much younger than him. And then these things are always a bad dynamic. Pictures of Instagram messages between the two from May 2022 reveal Figueroa messaging Nathan, quote, missing your lips. He responded, quote, I'm missing yours as well. Earlier that day, she messaged him that they have an upcoming news conference. He says, quote, I will practice. I'm totally not in love with her face. And she says, I will practice. I'm totally not thinking about kissing his face right now. And if, in fact, this is found to be with full disclosure, a consensual a relationship and there wasn't any pressure, you know, based upon the superior power of Mr. Fletcher over her, it, 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 it may undermine the lawsuit and make it meaningless. But again, there's always a danger. And we have the full 90 page report with all of those Instagram messages up on our website. Just click the scene on tab. Now, Figaro's attorney responded to the probe earlier today, saying they were unsurprised and disappointed in the investigation. He continues to claim she was thriving at work before Fletcher announced his run for political office and wasn't talked to in this investigation. The attorney saying, quote, we will continue to uncover the truth and seek accountability as this case proceeds to trial next year. But again, that wrongful termination lawsuit is set to go to trial in February of 2025. But as we know, that's of course, unless that could get dropped, especially after the findings today. And neither party were interviewed for this particular investigation. Yeah, that's right. We didn't hear from Fletcher or Ms. Figueroa in this investigation from MTS. But again, MTS was the one who kind of started this investigation and hired an outside company, um, which I asked the attorney I talked to today. I was like, how much do you think this could cost? Because likely taxpayer money. And he said upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars likely. And you haven't heard anything from Fletcher's legal camp regarding this uh, report, right? Yeah, no, we reached out to them earlier today a couple of times. So waiting to hear back to uh, see if they have a statement. All right, Sarah. Thank All right. you so much.